everybody, I'm here at Foresters Hall. Hope you're all well. Um, it's a lovely day and today I thought I'd take you for a tour around Foresters Garden and after we can do some quiz questions. Before I start, I'd like to say the reason I'm here is because I'm helping to keep the building tidy and look after the plants for our return. Um, currently we're closed but we're all keeping safe and when I'm finished I will be going home and abiding by the rules and keeping safe. So if you're ready here goes. We're going to do a tour of Forester's Garden. Listen carefully because there will be quiz questions. Right. The garden, as you can see, is paved. There is no grass, and that makes it easier for people with physical disabilities and wheelchairs, so that everyone can use the garden. The garden is crazy paved. We have lots of wildlife in the garden, and one of the birds that likes it here the most is Robin Redbreast. We currently have two fruit trees. They're apple. Right, if you'd like to come with me um, around the garden. We have a veg box. It, it's for anybody to use, but it is designed to be wheelchair friendly, which means a wheelchair can go underneath and you can sit and use the veg box. At the moment, we're growing garlics. Okay. Here we have a planter, which isn't planted up at the moment because we haven't been here. We, we grow herbs, and this one is mint. Oh, lovely, which is gorgeous with your roast it. The flower that lets us know it's spring is the daffodil. Um, again, they've died off at the moment, but quite often daffodils are yellow. It's a nice bright colour that makes us all feel happy. Also, plants have particular names. And this daffodil, which was absolutely beautiful, is called Winston Churchill. Here we have this lovely hydrangea which we brought last year and it's doing really well because I've been watering them and it will be blue. So it's a lovely colour blue this one. Going round we have a water butt and this collects the rainwater down through the drain pipe and it stores it for us so that we can water the plants. Plants love rainwater. Right. Here we have lavender which smells lovely and it keeps you calm. It's good for helping you to sleep at night. We've got some nice geraniums out at the moment. Fuchsia. And some grasses. Obviously you can see the minion needs a haircut. Over the back we have Budlia, which is a white one, which means insects can see it at night. But it's also the favourite food of the butterfly. We have a bug house which was designed by one of our members and built by our woodwork team and it's a hotel for bugs. So when they've had all their food and they're all nice and full up and ready for a sleep, they'll retire to the bug house. This is a variegated laurel bush. And it's variegated because it's more than one colour. This one's green and yellow. 
this year because we're not here. Last year we had tadpoles and they turned into frogs. Here we have our compost bin which we collect all our garden waste in, all the leaves, all the good stuff, not the weeds. <clears throat> and we turn this every week so that air is put into the rotting material and when it's ready we put it back on the garden because it's really good for the plant life. Behind that, we have a wormery, which is a house full of worms and they recycle all our waste food. Um, here is a baby worm. They do have stripes and because of that, they're known as the tiger worm. And here we are back at the beginning. In front of us we have a beautiful tree that's like a big umbrella that shades us in the summer and it's called a lime tree. This garden is for East Kent Mencat members and staff. We like to enjoy the garden by gardening, relaxing and having East Kent Mencat events to share with family and friends. If you'd like to take a short break and get a pen and paper, we'll give you the questions to the garden tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. Bye. And now it's time for the quiz. You'll be given 20 questions in between the questions, we'll have 10 seconds to guess the answer before Karen herself will give you the correct answer. Good luck, everyone. Question one. Does the garden have grass, crazy paving, or sand? The garden is crazy paved. Question two. Which bird likes our garden? Robin Redbreast, Eagle or Penguin? One of the birds that likes it here the most is Robin Redbreast. Question three. What small fruit tree is in the garden? Cherry, apple or pear? We currently have two fruit trees. They're apple. Question four. The raised veg bed is designed for wheelchairs, bikes, or scooters. We have a veg box. It, it's for anybody to use, but it is designed to be wheelchair friendly. Question five. What is the veg in the box? Carrots, garlic, or potatoes? At the moment, we're growing garlics. Question six. Which herb is good with our roast dinner? Parsley, basil, or mint? We grow herbs, and this one is mint. 
Oh, lovely. Which is gorgeous with your roast dinner. Question seven. What colour are daffodils? Red, blue or yellow? Yellow. Question 8. Plants have names. What is the name of our daffodil? Boris Johnson, Theresa May or Winston Churchill? Also, plants have particular names and this daffodil which was absolutely beautiful, is called Winston Churchill. Question nine. What colour is our hydrangea? White, blue or pink? Here we have this lovely hydrangea which we brought last year and it's doing really well because I've been watering them and it will be blue. Question 10. Which water is good for the plants? Tap water, rain water or fizzy water? Plants love rainwater. Question 11. Which plant can smell nice and keep us calm? Rose, lavender or tulip? Here we have lavender, which smells lovely and it keeps you calm. Question 12. The buddlier plant is the favourite food of what? Birds, frogs or butterflies? Over the back we have buddlier which is a white one, which means insects can see it at night, but it's also the favourite food of the butterfly. Question 13. We have a hotel for what? Elephants, bugs or cats? We have a bug house which was designed by one of our members and built by our woodwork team and it's a hotel for bugs. Question 14. A variegated plant is one colour, two colours or lots of colours? Variegated laurel bush and variegated means it's more than one colour. This bush is two colours. It's yellow and green. Question 15. What shape is a blue bell flower? Bell shape, square or round? Bluebells. Bluebells are forest plants and they get their name because they are the shape of a bell. Question 16. What do tadpoles turn into? Fish, frogs or dragonflies? We have a frog pond, 
it's not in use this year because we're not here. Last year we had tadpoles and they turned into frogs. Question 17. Compost is garden waste. Is it good for the garden? Yes or no? Here we have our compost bin, which we collect all our garden waste in, all the leaves, all the good stuff, not the weeds. <clears throat> And we turn this every week so that air is put into the rotting material and when it's ready we put it back on the garden because it's really good for the plant life. Question 18. Which worms live in the worm house? Tiger worms, lion worms or leopard worms? Um, here is a baby worm, they do have stripes and because of that they're known as the tiger worm. Question 19. Our tree in the middle of the garden is an oak tree, lime tree or willow tree? In front of us we have a beautiful tree that's like a big umbrella that shades us in the summer and it's called a lime tree. Question 20. We hope to use our garden for gardening, relaxing and EKM events. True or false? garden is for East Kent Mencat members and staff. We like to enjoy the garden by gardening, relaxing and having East Kent Mencat events to share with family and friends. Well we've come to the end of the quiz. Hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you got on in the comment section below. Stay home. Stay safe. Remember to wash your hands.